In this lesson, we'll review a geometry problem from the gridding section. This is question 36 out of 38. So a little bit further into the gridding section, a more difficult problem. And also keep in mind, geometry questions have been greatly reduced on the new test. This is part of the additional topics in math. You might only see two or three questions with shapes and figures, geometric ones that is, on the whole test. So let's take a look. We have point P as the center of the circle and the figure above what is the value of X. And so here's X. This is a central angle. And we need to find this angle. We also know that this arc, right, BC would also have a measure of X, right, because it's a central angle. There's a couple ways to do this problem. You always want to try to make familiar shapes. So what I mean by that is this, this shape inside the circle, this is sort of like the Star Trek logo, right? It's it's not a familiar shape. You have to make it into a familiar shape. And so just keep looking at it. And so one way is if we were to draw, let's say, a line from here, right, to X. What have I drawn? Well, that's just another radius. And so if that's a radius, we know here this is a radius and this is 20. So we know that this angle here must be 20 degrees. And now... I have a familiar shape. Not only do I have a triangle, I have an isosceles triangle, right? Because these are both radii. And so we can figure out the third angle right here. We just add up these two and subtract from 180. So this is going to be 140, right? This is 140 right here because I've made a triangle. And on the bottom, this is the exact same shape, right? This angle here is 20. This is the isosceles. So that means this is 140 right here and now I've made a circle right I have 280 what's left from 360 80 and that is the answer another way of doing this if you happen to know just to review we know a central angle X will always correspond with the degree measure of the arc right it's always the same but what if I were to extend this angle right and I'm gonna extend it out like this What's the rule if we have, this is called an inscribed angle. And if you knew the rule with inscribed angles, the angle opposite the inscribed angle is always double. And so that would really help. So if you know that this is 40, and then here we have another inscribed angle this way. All right. And so I know that, all right, this is 40. And so both of these together are 80. So that means this central angle is 80, and vertical angles of this is 80, and that's 80. And so in either case, we can arrive at the correct choice. If you knew that with inscribed angles, a little easier, but otherwise just make a familiar shape, a triangle in this case, and then a circle.